Okay, before we start solving this problem here, let's uh, go to Desmos and see what's happening. Here are the two borders of the half planes that we're interested in. Uh, y equals 3x minus 5 is this red line. Y equals negative x minus 1 is the blue line. Uh, we want to shade in one side or the other depending on the inequality symbol. If I change this to greater than or equal to, oops, greater than or equal to, you can see I get above the line that's the border, 3x minus 5. Now I could also figure out the, which side of the line to shade in by plugging in the coordinates 0, 0 and see if I get a true statement. Is 0 greater than or equal to minus 5? Yes, it is. So that's the uh, side to shade in. If I change this to a less than symbol, not only do we shade below that line, but we also make the border dotted. Okay, and the solution set is the set of points where both regions overlap. So a point like negative 4, 0 should make both of those inequalities true. Okay, now to do it on your own without the use of Desmos, uh, you want to shade the borders so, or graph the borders. So three, y equals 3x minus 5 has a y-intercept at 0, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 with a slope of 3. Rise over 1, 3 over 1, that means over 1 and up 3. It's a greater than or equal to, so the border will be solid. There's the border. Y has to be greater than the border, so greater than means above, or you could pick a test point like we did I mentioned previously of 0, 0, which is right here. If 0, 0 makes the inequality true, then this is the side you shade in. If it doesn't make it true, you shade in the other side. So if I put 0 in for y, I get 0 is greater than or equal to 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. That's a true statement. So that's the side I shade in. Now I graph the other border, negative x minus 1, but this will be a dotted line. So we want to realize that the y-coordinate is, uh, the y-intercept is at 0, negative 1. The slope is negative 1, over 1, down 1. So that'll be this line right here, a little off, but you get the idea. If I put 0, 0 in for x and y, I get 0 less than minus 1. No, it's not. So we shade in the side that 0, 0 is not on. And that'll be these points here. Or y is less than. And where do those two regions overlap? Uh, right in here somewhere. Whoop, went a little too far. Okay, and you can pick a point in that region. For example, this point right here is negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, negative 11, negative 3 should make both of those inequalities true. I put negative 11 in for x and negative 3 in for y. I get negative 3 greater than or equal to negative 33 minus 5. That's a true statement. I put negative 3 in for y in the second one. Is that less than or equal to negative 11 minus 1? The opposite of negative 11 is plus 11. And negative 3 is less than 10. So that checks. So you can pick any point in this 
black shaded region as a solution to both inequalities. There you go. Hope that helped. Any questions, post a comment.